Nova Consulting. You may start now. Before we start, I would like to say a big congrats to Willa Bank for surpassing the 100K customer mark this week. Now, the next question is, how can we take the success to a new level? We believe family is the key. Almost everyone in Hong Kong start their wealth management journey by passing their red pocket money to their parents. And this shows how important family is in the journey of financial literacy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yek from Noah Consulting. Today, I'm with my team, Haywood, Taffy, and Andrew to present our strategy, building a stronger customer relationship with Hong Kong families and grow with them. With we grow, we address the low stickiness of current millionaires' customers by engaging them through personalized thematic, thematic sharing service. And with we built a family account and launch strategy, we capture a new segment and further strengthen customer loyalty. Ultimately, leading to Hong Kong dollars 1.58 billion increase in deposit and a KGA of 41% in revenue by 2024. With virtual bank license recently issued, the position of incumbent bank is shaking. But there's also a fierce competition among virtual banks. However, there's no absolute winner yet. This means Willa Bank needs to identify a quick win strategy to excel in this market. When we talk about growth, we usually look at two dimensions, current customers and new customers. First, let's look at the current customers. Willa Bank current customers are mostly 18 to 30 years old. They are usually university students or young professionals. This is incredible idea. They are daring enough to try out new things, which includes virtual banks. They are also deal hunting, which means monetary incentives are extremely effective to capture them. We know that Willet Bank has captured them very well so far, but there's an underlying issue of the low stickiness due to the same cash burning tactic used by most virtual banks. Therefore, Willet Bank needs to better lock in the current target customers, providing personalized products or services to make them feel exclusive can be effective since they are more loyal to brands that do so. Therefore, the first key question is, how can Willa Bank provide a more personalized experience to build stronger relationship with them? Next, let's look at the Gen X customers. They've likely formed a family already, with children usually the current target users of Willa Bank. They are very valuable, as they hold more assets and they need more complicated financial products. They also tend to have higher stickiness, which makes capturing them a key next step for Willa Bank. However, no virtual bank can capture this segment effectively yet, making it a blue ocean. The reason behind is their lack of trust towards a new digital financial service, as they are not digital native. But there is a breakthrough point to personal recommendation, as they are more likely to trust recommendation by their social circle, especially family members. Therefore, the second key question is, how can Willa Bank facilitate the assisting millennials to tap into the new demographic? To answer these two questions, we have our two recommendations, WeGrow and WeBuild. Now, my team members, hey, we'll, we'll talk about WeGrow. So, Willa Bank has successfully gained a foothold in the millennial segment. It is now crucial to build their stickiness and realize their potential. To understand how, let's take a look at the pain points of Jenny, a typical Willa Bank millennial customer. She is a marketing manager and is planning ahead for a wedding with her partner, John. However, she and her peers share similar pain points in financial planning. First, Jenny, who is fully occupied from her nine to six job, has no time to take care of her own finances, but she does not reach the high monetary requirements to have a personal advisor at a traditional bank. Second, Jenny has different life goals in mind, such as a wedding with John and traveling around the world. Yet she often feels lost when identifying the relevant financial products as the products in the market are not purpose-driven. Lastly, there's also a lack of motivation for her to keep track of her saving when there is no tool to visualize her saving progress. By personalizing their saving expectations, we at Bank can better motivate Jenny and build a better relationship with her moving forward, achieving the mission of addressing customer pain points. Introducing WeGrow. 
to enable WeLab Bank to be the lifelong partner for millennials and join hands in their financial journey. This truly achieves financial inclusion as the younger customers are also empowered to make wise financial decisions. WeGrow has two brand new functions, thematic saving and joint account. Providing life goal funds cater to customer saving goals and providing shared saving opportunities with customers closed ones. Today, we recommend WeLab Bank to start with free thematic savings, wedding, housing, and traveling, which are at the top of mind for Hong Kong people. Let's welcome back Jenny. Currently, she deposits her saving through GoSafe, yet WeLab Bank could do more to help her visualize her life goals powered by WeGrow. With a simple few clicks, she can create a joint account with her partner, John, and finally save for the dream wedding that they have longed for. Jenny and John simply have to input their risk profiles and the preferred wedding details, and then they will receive a personalized budget report specifically for them. We all know one size doesn't fit all, and therefore they can easily adjust on the interactive dashboard to get every detailed requirement on point. Ultimately, generating a tailored saving plan personalized for their perfect wedding. After adjusting, they realize their current financial situation is just a bit off from the saving goal that they want. Yet, they shouldn't worry as the cross-selling recommendation of GoFlexi fits them perfectly. Now, Jenny and John can have their dream wedding, embracing this amazing milestone to start their new family. With WeGrow, WeLand Bank becomes customer's lifelong partner by being there throughout important moments important moments in the customer's life, improving customer relationship and encouraging asset transition in the long run. With current customers locked in, Kathy will walk you through our second recommendation to capture new users. Thank you, Haywood. Before, before you move on to the second, I, I like the first recommendation. Where I had a question, it's if you go back to the page where you have your three live goals, as an example, I can see how um, doing wealth management or savings, achieving, you know, um, a moderate size uh, life goal, for example, getting married. Uh, but when it, when it comes to, for example, saving for housing, uh, that's quite a bit of a stretch, right? How do you manage that discrepancy between that magnitude of different life goals that you put in here? Yep. Thank you for the question. So uh, in terms of the property, it is a long-term goal. Uh, also, marriage is also uh, obviously a, a bit shorter, but then our saving plan, plan can cater for a long-term goal. Uh, for example, uh, they can input that they want to have a house within, uh, for example, like 10 years. We can then cater to that, uh, to their risk profile and their current income to provide a personalized saving plan for them to achieve that property uh, goal that they want in the future. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Haywood. Now we'll move on to the second recommendation. Apart from building a sound relationship with existing customers, we love Bank should also expand the customer base to families. Now you may wonder, how should we love Bank do so? The key is to provide a family-centric banking solution through a family joint account service, we built, which also includes different functions to serve families better. Currently in the market, there is no transparent, seamless, and centralized tool for our family to manage their family finances together. Hong Kong customers face challenges in managing their daily budgets as a family, and they lack financial planning. Only 36% of Hong Kong people have clear financial goals, and Weibo is a perfect match. To solve these pain points, Weibo should provide daily budgeting services and financial planning solutions to enhance the customer experience. Weibo consists of a family current and savings account. The current account can be accessed by all family members. All members can deposit their share of money and withdraw for family use. This is to ensure that all daily family spending will be budgeted and recorded seamlessly. Weibo also consists of other functions such as automated payment, reminders, and notifications. Families no longer need to worry about the monthly financial nuances. And at the end of the month, families can easily review their monthly spending with the analysis from Weibo's 
AI budgeting tool, and any extra spending would be flagged. With more insights into family spending habits, we both can now recommend the most relevant financial and saving products to help them achieve family goals together. We both opens the door to capturing a vast array of family financial needs. We recommend starting with our strength in insurance and lending first, which utilize WeLab Bank's capabilities. With our partnership with Allianz and our established WeLab business, it is only one step away from pushing out specialized products for family needs, such as family health insurance and home renovation loans. In the future- May I ask a, may, Sorry, may I ask a question here? Sure, sure. Um, thank you for, for the presentation so far. I find it very, very interesting that the angle is quite um, uh, family or community-based or definitely not a single person, not, not a single millennial. So I was just wondering where your, where the Nova consultants come up with that idea because the age group that you're currently in and the target market that we're currently going after, the, I mean, the family aspect would not be the first thing that comes to mind. So I'm, I'm very curious as to where that angle came from. Thank you so much for your question. So um, for our thought process, we actually th think about different segments and we have identified family as our end goal because we believe that for a lot of virtual banks in Hong Kong, they mostly target millennials because they are tax savvy and they know a lot about virtual bank and they can easily trust these banks because they are currently using other online services as well. And for um, our recommendation, we came up with this because we believe that family as a whole can be a greater market for WeLab Bank to enter into. And besides, we, we hope to address uh, some kind of customer pain point and the family uh, saving uh, plan. And we also believe that through our millennial customers, we can further market um, our position and to become the uh, homegrown bank and to cater for their needs as a family, because we have seen that uh, currently in the market, there's no other player targeting in families. And we believe that um, this would be a great starting point. Thank you. So to add on uh, Kathy's point, so the family culture is very important in the Hong Kong culture. So that, that is one of the reasons why we believe targeting the family aspect through uh, for WeLab Bank would be the direction moving forward uh, for WeLab Bank. Yep. Thank you. Hi, sorry. Can I just also continue on in that question, also relating to segment and, and then also into branding and marketing? So you, your two kind of prong strategy, one is how to engage further our existing segment, which is young, so maybe prior to establishing a family, and the second part being to um, engage new customer base who are establishing families. Now, these are very different customer groups. How do you plan or propose to manage the branding or the marketing strategy in trying to target these very two different um, segments? Thank you for your question. So um, as for the millennials, we are utilize the existing customer base to target uh, these customer segments from the millennials, which we'll address in the later stage of our presentation for the marketing. And as for um, the current millennials, they're already our existing customers. So for our first recommendation, we just put more product offerings for them to save according to their life goals. And for our second recommendation, it will be targeting family. Um, no matter it's like a young family or a more mature family, we'll ca we can um, cater for their need to uh, help them personalize their spending and also their budgeting um, issues and also provide them with more financial products. So as such, we built would be a one-stop, easy to use platform for all family members to track family daily expenses and engage in financial planning. We built not only addresses the family's pain points, but will also enhance their customer experience, increase their stickiness and loyalty to build a solid foundation of trust. Most importantly, we let bank with further lock in customers as a group. With such a beautiful product in place, how can we attract and onboard our target customers? The answer lies in the millennial customer that we already secured. As Jake mentioned, the main challenges in locking the valuable mid age customers is their lack of trust and trigger to sign up for new digital services. But really, who is more suited to assist these parents than their own children? Currently, we let bank users are mostly millennials, and it is the norm for millennials in Hong Kong to support their families with housekeeping money. We believe that this monthly transfer of money would be a great touch point to encourage the mid-age segment to open a WeLab family bank account. But having this attractive product is not enough. 
We should also mobilize the millennial customers to be our advocates and initiate a conversation. We Lab Bank can launch a promotion campaign focusing on family relationships and the importance of financial well-being. For example, the video can show a clip of the first piggy bank received from their parents to start the first lesson of financial education, followed by a call for action for the now grown up millennials to share their knowledge back with their parents under the new digital age, to grow and to build with their parents, both emotionally and financially. This campaign will also highlight the 1.5% rebate on housekeeping money once they open a family bank account in five minutes. With this campaign, we can have a direct call for action to ask our millennial users to initiate the conversations with their parents, and we give them the perfect incentive to do so. With the education and the push from existing customers, we both would be able to help We Lab Bank capture the family segment. Thank you, Cassie. Moving on to the financial and impact, there are eight virtual banks in Hong Kong, and all of them has been burning money and no one has made a profit yet. We grow and we build can both increase the deposits into WeLab Bank so that we can monetize and achieve our ultimate goal of a sustainable business model. So to achieve our model, we have set KPI of achieving 200,000 active users by 2024. And we aim to have 6,000 family accounts and a 10% of cross-selling products to families. Moving on to the amount of deposits we will generate from regrowth thematic saving, we estimated there will be 1.9 million people in Hong Kong using virtual banks by the end of 2024. Out of them, we expect there will be 200,000 millennials, which we can target as our initiators for the family account recommendation. Our goal is to attract a modest 25%, 6,000 family accounts to be open. With an average housekeeping amount of 6,000 Hong Kong dollars, we believe we will have a pool of 36 million deposits in our bank monthly. Plus the saving fund in wedding, traveling and housing, etc., we are confident to achieve 44 million monthly asset transition. As for the breakdown of the cost, acquisition, development and infrastructure will be the main cost, which is around $7.34 million incrementally. So we estimated that we can break even earliest and optimistically in next year quarter three and start making a profit. Despite the initial cost, the unit economics is positive in our revenue model. Furthermore, we are confident the potential to cross sell more products and explore more revenue streams in the future. We have also thought through the detailed implementation such that WeLab Bank can take action swiftly and secure its first mover advantage. As for the risk, what WeLab Bank should concern the most is the infrastructure and potential financial crime in a joint account. But we believe this could be mitigated with the expertise of financial experts in WeLab Bank. So today, we ask ourselves how WeLab Bank can solve the current customer's pain point, and we have proposed two recommendations. We grow to provide personalized experiences to lock in existing millennial customers, and we build to tap into a new customer segment that is family units. When I was young, my mom always asked me to give my red pocket money to her and she will manage the money for me. As I grow up, I know I should also step up to managing the family finance together with my parents and WeLab Bank is certainly my choice. With WeLab Bank, we grow as a family, not only wealth, but also financial knowledge ultimately empowering all generations to access personalized and quality financial services. That is the end of our presentation. We still open the room for more questions. May I ask a question? I, I find this very interesting. So, so the extension of um, cross-selling to other family members, would you recommend for WeLab Bank to maybe first grow the pool of millennials first and then cross-sell? Or is the, is the angle that you're coming in with is grow everything and grow the cross sell, grow the family immediately on the get-go. Yeah, thank you for your question. I think both can be done simultaneously. And for the cross sell, at the first stage, what we are doing, we'll be focusing on insurance and non, because we have the competitive advantage with partnership with uh, 
uh, Allianz, and we can also work with uh, Reland in order for us to generate our first bucket of gold. But in the uh, in the future, we think we have the potential because we are actually making profit if this model is successful. Successful, we're actually the first bank, uh, virtual banks in Hong Kong to make a profit because all of them are still in the loss of burning stage. So. In the, in the future, if we prove that our business is sustainable, we can have the potential to further expand the product offerings to, for example, wealth management, investment, or other uh, opportunities waiting for us to explore. To add on, um, and for the segmentation, we believe that we should go back simultaneously since all virtual banks now are targeting millennials. And we also see the potential in the older segments, such as the mid-age segments. So therefore, we want to be the first mover to target these groups so that we can be able to build a better uh, experience and also relationship with them and also um, let them stick to our platform as we've identified that the mid-age segments have higher stickiness than the millennials. And we can also extract more profit from them. Just a follow-up question. I found this very interesting as well. So uh, thank you for that. Um, so you talk about breaking even, and and I'm just trying to connect in my mind um, all the things that you talk about. The the family, the we built uh, proposition. Essentially, it's connecting. It's it's another way of kind of expanding client, right? And remember, you talk about how you get a rebate or something like that when you first do your family transfer. So in some way, you're still spending money to attract that. W what I can't reconcile in my head is where is that monetization driver coming from? Where do you actually make money, additional money compared to what you're doing today? Thank you for your question. Uh, for the Weibo, we will first acquire them through monetary incentive with the rebate for the housekeeping money. And after acquiring our customers, we'll further want to make money through cross-selling such as our insurance and uh, lending business to help them to build up their financial planning. And also with our solution, we believe that we can make money through that channel. And for the uh, saving, we also want to increase the, their deposit to increase uh, through the asset tran transition from uh, our customers from other banks to Wheelab Bank. And we believe that through asset transition and also cross-selling, we'll be able to make a profit after we've acquired enough customers. And further add on to Kathy's point, first, we, with our first recommendation, the thematic saving, we can actually uh, enhance and increase the deposits of WeLab Bank. So we can use those money to make money. So perhaps, Ye, could you refer to slide 73? So in slide 73, this is actually a very simple calculation of making money or at least what you mentioned, break even in the next year. So first, uh, as we mentioned, that we will first uh, launch our insurance and non service. So we, uh, for the insurance, uh, our business model will be, we'll be charging 15% commission fee from Allianz, which is actually the uh, market equilibrium uh, percentage. So we understand that the annual spending on insurance for every Hong Kongers is uh, annually is around $200,000. So our goal is to attract 10% of those family accounts to buy our products because they have a more transparent account, family account already. So from this part, we can estimate to have a profit by multiplying all this number together to have a monthly, uh, as a monthly revenue of 5.4 million. And for the loan, it's quite similar. Our lending rate is 4%, which is uh, a competitive lending rate compared to many other lending uh, companies in Hong Kong. For example, WeLang, which is uh, also uh, having a lending rate of 4.5%. So our low end uh, lending rate can achieve and incentivize people need money to borrow money from us. And our goal is similar to attract 10% of the family accounts to buy our products. So by multiplying all those numbers together, we can have a money uh, revenue of 1.2 million. And this is the first step. So uh, because our initial cost might be high, so in the first few stages, it might not, we cannot achieve break even. But in the next year, we believe with our estimated growth of customers and more uh, services and more people coming for loan and insurance, it is actually profitable for us to make profit. And I hope that I have uh, answered your question and resolved your concern. Right. Um, first of all, I, I think, uh, thank you for the presentation. It is really interesting angle for the, for the family centric uh, bank. Um, so I have a question as uh, one of your earlier comments, um, the, the, um, the middle age, maybe the, the family owner, um, they, they, they have stronger ties uh, to the current banks, right? They might have been already banking 
with a certain banks for, for decades, right? So what would be your idea to switch them over to, to a new bank? Thank you for your question. We believe that um, the older segment already tied into traditional banks, but in Hong Kong, uh, most most uh, banking customers have multiple accounts to diversify their saving. Um, and as an average, they also have two to three accounts. And we believe that we want to target these uh, mid-age segments by acquiring them through the housekeeping money, which is a monthly transfer from their millennials' children to these parents. And through the millennials, they can act as an advocate to uh, tell their parents that the virtual bank is the new edge and also the new products and service that will best fit their needs and to help them to grow together and to grow their assets together through our financial planning services and budgeting services to help the family to manage their finances better. So we believe that uh, this is the first touch point for them to switch a part of the assets to our bank to start experiencing the convenience and also the value added service uh, from our virtual banks. So um, in the long term, we believe that through these user interface, we can further, uh, further let them experience and in the long term, we can uh, increase their stickiness. So to further add on to Kathy's point, I think uh, our relationship uh, with the traditional re retail bank is not direct competition. Actually, if they are the hospital, then we'll be the clinic because the hospital uh, is like, uh, they provide a very comprehensive financial services uh, for the patients. But when you're going to the ANE, you have some emergency, then you need to wait for eight hours before getting to see the doctor. But unlike us, we are the family doctor. We are a very, very small clinic, but we can provide very customized and personalized service that, for example, we know the history, we know the data of the patients so that we can provide a more uh, personalized experiences for the uh, uh, comparing to the traditional bank. Yes. Okay, thank you. Well, it's always very intriguing to learn about customer behavior of millennials. I know you guys are still in school and, and going into the workforce very soon. But, uh, you know, from conversation with your friends and peers group, you think this housekeeping money contribution is going to be a popular behavior within your group? Yes, um, we've done some research on that. Uh, for the housekeeping money for working millennials in Hong Kong, 50% of them give uh, housekeeping money to their families to support the family. And the average is around 6000 per month. Amazing. So we believe that this is an attractive opportunity. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Sorry, I have uh, one question about your slides. Uh, I think it's the last one. Is it 73? About your landing rate. Yes. Uh, why do you come up with like 4%? Uh, because uh, probably you can find some other banks or the other places that can offer rates much lower than that. So we believe that uh, the 4% is com coming from the WeLand business because we've looked into the uh, WeLand lending rate, which is 4.5% and it's unsecured loan um, compared to traditional bank, which is secured loan where they have to provide a lot of different personal statement and also their financial situation. And for uh, we WeLand Bank, we are targeting for uh, unsecured personal loans. Therefore, uh, our lending rate would be higher than traditional bank because the barrier is lower than them. And compared with other unsecured loan, 4% is very attractive in Hong Kong. Thank you. So to add on, uh, we do see a future direction where we can already uh, leverage our uh, virtual bank existence to kind of provide uh, secured loans at a lower rate compared to the tr traditional bank. So similar to the GoFlexi loan, which is much lower than the traditional bank, we see that as a, an, a, a competitive advantage moving forward. Uh, yeah. So we hope that answers your question. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't mind, let me squeeze in a final question there. We have one and a half minutes left. So if all your ambition here stacks up and are successful, what do you see as the biggest obstacle that may hold you back from scaling up the business? So thank you for the question. So we see that uh, the competitive uh, the competitiveness in the virtual banking industry with the other eight virtual banks, they would probably uh, kind of copy this idea as well. But however, uh, we believe the foundation of we grow and we build is to better lock in customers and develop the trust factors uh, with we grow's long term saving fund and meeting family financial needs through we Build's family accounts. So this would therefore uh, we can mitigate that competitive uh, competitiveness 
through increasing the switching costs through the personalized experience and with a significant first mover advantage, WeLamp Bank can use this as, to head start and uh, to further innovate on WeGrow and WeBoat to provide customers better experience and stay ahead of the competitive curve going forward as well. So we hope that answers your question. And I guess that sums up our, rec uh, our presentation for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Nova Consulting.